You are free TV, and she's got the Aim for Truth guys on there, and they're taking turns bashing their favorite. But they uh, talk about the bankers, and also, but then they mention that there's a Tesla patent, or they patented the cars, but not SpaceX. But one thing I'm just really pissed off is I saw footage of a Tesla car in China, rural China, like farmland, where people are still got these wooden rickshaws, and they were at least five of them were hit by a car, a Tesla car, gone crazy. And uh, there's not even a hospital nearby. It was so vicious. Why are Tesla cars even allowed to exist? I don't understand that. Uh, can someone explain that? Because, see, what happened around 2000 and before, a little bit before, was that in America, if you bought some uh, shampoo, it would have some ingredients say, you know, if it was natural, it had 10 ingredients, but then when they wanted to sell, they couldn't sell in places like Canada or around the world because of some kind of um, legal aspect of the, this, this organic shampoo. You had to label things, just like in Canada, hardly anybody speaks French. No one in, in BC or Alberta, but all Canadian labels have to be labeled in both languages. And so now you've got these ingredient listings on shampoo that show you all the Latin and the, like, Hippocotamus, you know, genus Hippocotamus for, like, horse chestnut. Like, why not just say horse chestnut oil or something like that? But so now you're, you're, the, the letters on everything are so tiny you need an electron microscope to read it. How much ink is being expended worldwide for this global labeling? Fucker, 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 shit.